I'm Leroy Hendren. I've been in the business 21 years. I own and operate United Country Hendren and Associates, and I've been in the business about 20, a little 20 years. Can you tell us a little bit about your history and what you've sold? And I've sold everything from dogs to uh, ranches. My specialty, I try to make it, if there is such a thing in the auction business, is real estate auctions. I started out in 89, I went to auction school, came back, and, and started right off selling uh, anything I could find, like we all do. I graduated gradually into the estate business, where I uh, began to sell the real estate with the estates. And as we progressed through the years, we sold more and more real estate. Until now, we pretty well uh, just sell real estate if we can. We, we still have probably the average of sale a month that's not real estate. Who are some of your favorite auctioneers or auctioneers that had an influence on your career? There were several. The guy that made me actually want to go to auction school was Wayne Craig. Wayne now works for me, has his license with me. I was at an auction one day and, and I'd always enjoyed the auction, watching the auctioneer. And I talked to Wayne about it and uh, he said, sure, you can do that. Anybody can do it if you're willing. So we took all of our money out of savings and I went to the Missouri Auction School. And so he was probably one of the first ones. The second one was an old gentleman in Texas that run another auction school in Kenneth Gregg. And then I'd say last uh, is uh, Mike Jones and Sean Terrell, the, who I work with uh, and talk with them almost on a daily, daily date, and I, I follow them, and would they help me a lot in the business? Very good. Um, can you tell us a funny story or historical auction story? Well, you know we've had a lot of funny things. We've. Uh, it's hard to think of it when you're asked right offhand, but I think the most interesting one we had was when we were selling the estate. And at that time, I was part-time in the auction business, still working for the Highway Patrol. And uh, two of the uh, heirs showed up with guns, which I was off duty on Saturday, but I, I was able to carry a weapon all the time. And uh, the guy said, I've got a gun and I'm killing my brother-in-law. The brother-in-law said, I'm killing my brother-in-law. And I said, I've got a gun too, and I'll take both your guns. And so I actually took both guns and we finished the auction and uh, wound up being friends. We got a good price out of the real estate. Don't think everybody was, anybody was ever truly satisfied with the outcome because both of them were handcuffs halfway through the auction, but we got it <laughs> done nonetheless. What advice do you have for a new auctioneer? Never give up. Get into the business, uh, go into it. First of all, join your state association, uh, join your national auctioneers association, and then get all the education that you can. And always remember that you're going to have setbacks. Not every auction is successful, but the ones you learn the most from is the ones that are not. Try to do everything right, treat everyone like you'd want to be treated, and never give up. Could you sell an item for us? Oh, uh, what do you want me to sell? How about if we sell a book? That'd be good. And uh, how many dollars on it, ladies and gentlemen? I'm a dollar bill, and now two, sir, but you give two, and now three, and four, but you give four, and now five dollars, but if I even six dollars, but six, six, but you give six, I sold it. Five dollars, number 25. Thank you very kindly. Well, on behalf of the National Auction Foundation, we'd like to thank you very much for your interview. Thank you.